In the small hours of the morning in the McCarthy House in West Cork, they were cheering on their son and brother. Finton, along with Paul O'Donovan, now Olympic champions. Olympic gold. <laughs> I don't think it's sunk in yet, to be honest. No, I it think hasn't. they've. It um, hasn't. No, it hasn't. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, I'm trying to find a word that describes how I feel, but I don't think there is one that describes the mix of emotions and feelings and pride. Mm. At their club, it was busy as usual, the Olympic victory inspiring the new wave. I mean, it makes us want to, I suppose, work harder in a way, get where they are. So it's not only a medal for Ireland, it's a medal for the club too. This morning's gold added to Emily Hegarty's bronze yesterday and the silver from Rio, the full collection for the club, now complete. Ah, like it's euphoric. They're the icing on the cake. Four years ago, Ireland had never won a rowing medal before and suddenly Ireland has gold, silver and a bronze. Back on dry land, on the streets of Skibbereen, an air of joy has descended. Fantastic, fantastic for the town, fantastic for the country, just brilliant. It's such a fabulous day for the boys and their families and the club and the town. The list goes on, it's just truly amazing. It's fantastic, we're just on a high. It's a buzz, I was up at three o'clock this morning. <laughs> it's great, it's absolutely wonderful. This latest Olympic success proving once again at Skibbereen Rowing Club there's something in the water. Connor Hunt, RTE News.